I'm not a real person. People want me to be happy. I don't really care how I am. <laughs> that was super cool. CES 2022 in Las Vegas had some really cool new tech. We were there with our booth and we brought stuff that we were really proud of. And one of those things I want to talk about in this episode is the batteryless immortal ESL. I'm going to go over what makes this so special. It's 2022 and the advances in tech are astounding. However, in retail, right now, they still are printing out price tags, cutting them out, and walking them down the aisle to replace price tags on the shelves. This isn't just happening in small stores. This is happening in big stores like your supermarket and your Walmarts of the world. Why is this still happening in 2022? There are some retailers like Kohl's and Best Buy that are using ESLs. However, they're using ones that require batteries. We think the real reason ESLs aren't everywhere are because of those batteries. Those batteries last between, I'd say, two and five years. Uh, and it goes down the more you use them. And that really defeats the purpose of having a digitally displayed price if you can't change it as often as you want. For a smaller store, that is kind of manageable, but you can imagine after three or four years when you get the first alert that one of your tags battery is low. You know that the next X amount of months of your life are gonna be changing the batteries in every one of these tags. I mean. You know, 100 or two is fine, but some of these stores have 4,000, 10,000, 15,000 individual tags they're gonna need. So that is going to be a big task for anyone. So what do you do? Do you immediately try to change the batteries in all of them to get out ahead of it? Or do you wait till each one dies and change the batteries, which is super labor intensive? Or do you just come in with a whole new batch of ESLs, throw away the old ones, and then remap them to every single product that you have in the store. That's a nightmare, it's quicker, it's a nightmare, and you create a bunch of e-waste with batteries and plastic and things that you just don't want to go into a landfill. At PowerCast, we believe we've solved all the headaches of traditional ESLs. Opening up retail stores to the ability for unlimited price changing using the batteryless immortal ESL from PowerCast. These actually get all the power they need from a handheld RFID reader like this one or like we showed at CES the autonomous Badger robot that we outfitted with three RFID antennas that can communicate and update the prices for the life of the components completely battery free. It works because the screen is what's called a bi-stable display just like a Kindle or any other e-reader and what a bi-stable display does is once the image is created it uses no power to maintain that image. Think of it like a, a Etch-a-Sketch. Once you create it, until you shake it, it's gonna be on there forever. And that's the same way. Once you use the power that comes from the RFID reader to change the price, it's on there forever. So we like to say that this exact ESL could sell your kids and grandkids beer when they turn 21, of course. That's how long this'll be around. And if we don't change this, we come back 100 years, this will still be displaying on this ESL. It's amazing and it's batteryless. It's no secret that the retail space is changing. And one of the biggest changes is going to be the introduction of these batteryless ESLs. Now, with the ability to change it as often as you want, these ESLs could be tied to a system that goes out on the internet and checks prices of goods and makes sure that you're selling your product at the optimum price. This really opens up a whole new world for retail stores. If you like this series, please subscribe so you can stay up to date and you can learn about all the cool things PowerCast is working on in the long range RF wireless space. Also, check out all the other episodes that we've done. Thanks for watching.